So this is just a quick video of the heated chisel. I'm working on my uh, recognize those tail lights, 65 GTO. It has a patch here which has been in the car since I bought it 40 years ago. I always said I would fix the trunk, but time is always a, a problem with me. And I'm getting rusty now because the car has been sitting outside. So uh, I want to just repaint it with Pour 15. So I got to remove this tar, which I've been trying to do with my grinder here, but uh, probably with a more aggressive wire I could probably do it, but it makes a mess, it throws shit all over the place. So I'm going to try it with my heated chisel. So I'll let it heat up for a second, and we'll see. As you see, oh, I'm not doing the frame well. I'm doing this one hand. I'm doing this one hand, and uh, yeah. And this thing just takes it off like nothing. Let me get a better center here. Right to the metal. So. This tar has been here for a good 40 years. And it takes it off so nicely and neatly. Not making a mess. I'll put the heat on lower so you can hear me. So this is the heated chisel and how one of the ways it could be used in restoration. Do frames on cars like with tar, heavy tar, heavy paint. It really does a, a neat job. You can see it just takes it right off to the metal. You know? This is another video live on the job site. This is not in the studio, that's for sure. So, uh, if you want a good tool that actually works and will last you a hell of a long time, heated chisel. Thanks guys, bye.